Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making an illuminated letter, kind of like the illuminated manuscript. We're going to take the letter, the first letter of our first name, and we're going to make it really important by making it really large on the page. And then we're going to fill it with line pattern. And that's our learning goal for the lesson today. We're going to learn about line and line design. And line is actually one of the basic elements of art. And let's take a quick look at some of the line families here. So in the line family, we have lines that are straight, curved, or angled. And you can use these lines separately, maybe just all straight, all curved, all angled, or you can even combine the lines together. But let's just take a quick look at some of these lines here. So with a straight line, you can have horizontal straight lines. This is a very thin one. They can be thick, they can be diagonal, and they can be vertical. You can group the lines together. Here's a grouping of them. You can even make them dotted by leaving spaces in between. So we're gonna be thinking of these kinds of lines for a picture. You can also use curved lines. Here we have a really thick curved line. Here's combining curved lines. So the lines don't have to be continuous. They can start and stop at different points. Here's kind of a fun curve with a swirl on the end. Here's more of an S-shaped curve, spirals. And these are just some examples. You can come up with your own kinds of patterns with your lines. Here's an angled line where a line intersects another line and forms a type of an angle. The space in between here is called an angle. So we call it an angled line where two straight lines intersect. And you can see how they, there are all different kinds of combinations here. You can combine several together. This is almost more like a right angle here. See how it kind of forms this is kind of like an upside down backwards letter L here. This almost gives me the feeling of mountains here. Let's look at some artwork and see if we can identify some of these lines. I can see some straight lines coming out here. The foot, the little toes on the bird have an angle coming out here. This almost looks like some curved lines in here. Let's look at the turtle here. In the turtle picture, you can really see some curved lines here. And where lines intersect completely, it forms a shape. So you could have that in your picture as well. And here's another student example here of a tiger. And we have a lot of different kinds of lines here. We have some straight lines, some curved lines. Here's nice curved lines here. And then here's a very detailed picture where the lines are really close together. It almost forms kind of an optical illusion here. And we have a lot of combinations of lines. That was just fun, I thought. Zigzag lines are some of my favorite. Here's a combination of lots of lines and some shapes. And when you put lines together in designs, it forms patterns. I love zigzags and swirls and curvy lines. Now, for the line design today, we're going to be thinking about the first letter of our name, and that's going to give us um, a design, and then we'll fill it with beautiful line patterns. So I want you to think about the first letter of your name, and I'm going to, we're going to use 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. This is just a copy paper. It's a little bit heavier copy paper. You can use construction paper, whatever paper you have. And the first step is to go ahead and draw the letter 
of your name, just the first letter. Now, I want you to draw the letter as large as your paper. So you can see here, the paper has a top and a bottom, so I want your the first letter of your name to be as big as this. It's gonna be a gigantic letter. You first start off with a pencil and you're gonna draw it very lightly. Say the letter, the first letter of your name is gonna be K. I'm just gonna draw an example for you. Do not do this right now. I want you to watch first and then you can make your letter of your name. But my example today is going to be with the letter K. I'm gonna plan the letter first. I, wanna, I know that the straight part of my letter K is gonna come down the whole page here. And then I want the, the middle top part to come up and then I want it to form the diagonal line coming down at the bottom from the K. So I can visually see the K right here on my page. It even helps if you take your finger and pre-draw it right on the page. That way you know where it's gonna go and you know it's gonna touch all the edges of your page. Now I'm gonna start lightly with a pencil and I'm gonna jump over, because I don't want it to be really close to the edge of the page. So I'm gonna jump over a bit and I'm gonna make the straight part of my K and then I'm gonna lightly do the upper part of the K and then the lower part of the K. So you wanna make sure your K goes from top to bottom and then it comes to the other side of the page. What you don't want is a really small K or the really small letter of your name. Now I wanna make it thicker. So I'm gonna make a line on each side and I'm just gonna stop where it intersects the other letter. So this will become now the boundary, I can erase this, the boundary of my letter. So my K is gonna be really thick. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. A Little bit on here, a little bit on here. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. A line and a line. Now I'm gonna erase all the inside lines. That way I have this really thick letter K that I can design with line pattern. Now I want you to think of all the lines that we were talking about. Straight lines, curved lines, angle lines, and all the combinations that you can do with those lines. Here's some patterns here. Straight, here's some straight broken lines. This is actually going thick to thin. You can cross the lines. Here's some perpendicular. You can form lines for stripes. Crossing two lines forms X's. I'm just gonna show you this for a second to give some inspiration to you. Here's double curved lines. I love the spirals and waves. This is really pretty too the way the spirals connect to each other. Kind of gives me the feeling of, of waves too. Let's just take a look and see. These are kind of neat too. They look like scales, the way you make your curves and bumps. And if you make rows of curves and bumps, it gives a scaly feeling. When you crisscross them, they form almost diamond patterns. Here's some zigzag, love zigzag lines. These almost give zigzag lightning bolt feelings. So if we take a minute, we might be inspired by some kind of these forms here, these, these line designs. And here we have just kind of meandering freeform lines that just kind of curl and swiggle, almost scribbly, but more of a controlled scribble. And here's the same, but more angular and straight. That's kind of interesting. Here's a combination of all different kinds of line patterns. So these are things that you're gonna think about and how you're gonna do them. Here's another combination here, more free form. Now we're gonna take a marker. And if you have a Sharpie, that's great. Or you can just use your um, black marker that's in here, a darker color. If you're using these, you might wanna wait for the black or the dark color at the very, very end. Sometimes if you use, a, these are washables. And if I use the black first, 
and then I put another color on top, it will smear my black. That's why I always start with a Sharpie, or you can end with the Sharpie, that's up to you. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you here. So you wanna, this is the good lines that we're keeping for the letter K. And so remember, it's gonna be your name, whatever your first letter of your name is gonna be. You're gonna draw that on. really large. I can connect it like this and at the bottom. And now I'm going to design the inside. You can design the inside using just the black. So you're creating a black and white design or you can do colors. If you want it to be real colorful that's up to you. Here's another black and white design here using lines and line patterns. This one has a lot of straight lines in this design. And this was done, I believe, by a student, I don't have the name here, um, years ago, when I first started teaching. And so these are some of, we're gonna now fill ours, our letters with line pattern. But that's a black and white example. If you wanna limit yourself to two colors, you can, or you can um, use color, that's up to you. Now I'm gonna start, and you can go ahead and work on this on your own, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. As you're working on your line designs, and you can see I started, you want to make sure that your craftsmanship is nice and neat. So when you draw the line, for example, say I'm going to add some stripes here, you want to make sure where you start, it touches a shape or space and ends right at the line. So I'm touching and then coming to the end. You don't want to just do it where it's kind of like that, where I missed. I didn't bring it all the way to the edge. You want to make sure you're really nice and neat when you do your lines. And that helps with craftsmanship. So my start and end point need to be touching something. Now you might do your design where it, you, you plan that it does not touch something, that's fine. But if it's intentional that you wanted it to touch something, and it's not, then it's not gonna look as neat. That's kind of fun, just floating there. I like that pattern. And then I'm gonna add some more line in here. But see these little bumps? I start from the line, the black line, and I end at the black line. Start at the black line, end at the black line. So that it's drawn nice and neatly. If I did it just like this real quick and it's not quite all the same, it's, not, it's gonna appear to be a little bit messier. You see the difference? Nice and neat. And this is a little bit messier. So I can always fix that by coming back and making it a little bit neat, like so. So that improved the craftsmanship. How I take time to make something look nice and neat. And here is the finished letter I wanted to show you. And hopefully this will inspire you. I limited myself to three colors. I have um, one cool, warm color here, and then I did the two cool colors, blue and purple. But that's up to you how you want to do your letters. And I hope you have fun with this lesson. Now, if you'd like to write your name, you can write the rest of your name directly underneath it. So I'll just use this since this letter is K. Let's make up. This will be by Karen, and I'll just write the rest of her name, A-R-E-N. So here's the K, and then Karen. It gives me the feeling that it's like a, an illuminated letter, kind of like for, from the illuminated manuscripts. So we have the giant letter K, and then the rest of her name. So I hope you had fun creating your letter.